Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to get started on the Nowhere Toys Blank Body for Custom. Uh, it is 112 scaled, and or their version of 112 scaled. Everybody's a different. But the point that I'm making here is that we are jumping into this. Actually, everyone knows I love the Blank Body stuff. And I'm probably going to use a ton of these to sort out as a way to do plastic parties to help people with posing and things like that. Because I actually enjoyed the V-Toys body, the super muscular one. This one seems to be more of a slimmer body. When I get to the size comparison, I will be comparing the two so we can uh, see how they, they look up next to each other, right? But yeah, I actually really like these. And someone pointed out, like, the sculpt on this looks a little like uh, Bruce Campbell, but I think it definitely has the looks of, like, your generic Superman-type body. You know what I mean? And I, and I like it. I like it a lot. I've sit down and I've played with it. I think the only uh, criticism I would have is that for our, our thighs... It does rotate in and out very well, but I, I'm guessing they're expecting the usage of soft goods over it because I like the thigh swivel that cuts here, but that's just me and my preference. That's not even a gripe. So, yeah, I can't really talk about the look because we have our muscular body and it's pretty much a naked dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's you talking about uh, what you would want to get clothes wise on the guy. Um, he's probably going to be my naked Avenger. <laughs> so, yes, articulation wise, this is where we're going to have a lot of fun. Now, with our body, we can look up, we can look down, we can tilt side to side with little to no issue. I really like that because that makes it really expressive. There is a butterfly joint that kind of just rotates around. It gives you room to wiggle up and down with it. You can pretty much make a Y with our body here. We have a bicep swivel and we have a beautiful double joint that flows all the way inward. As far as our upper torso, our range on the torso is probably one of the best that I've seen movement wise, I think it's phenomenal. Even with our ab crunch and articulation, look how much that dip goes in. And then with our legs, look at that. Literally no problem whatsoever. If we look at our legs, we can fold in with little to no issue. And this is what I was saying, posing wise, for the your theatrics and how you wanna make it look cool, this is totally for you, right? leg can go outward the only thing is like ankle pivot wise it's one of those on a ball joint that's not too generous and there's no toe pivot but i guess that i would be okay with that because it's used for customs so it's definitely parts wise how you would want to do it now if we're talking about like jumping up and making it look good for kicks look at this this doesn't make sense but the point is that it looks really good <laughs> look at this this is phenomenal it's very easy to get into posing. Now, if we want to do things like show off running. Oh, let's say you wanted to hit one of those weird martial arts poses that make no sense as a toy, but it'll look good in a film for like a half split second. Let's say you wanted to protect the knee and the arm from damage. These look good in martial arts films, but obviously they don't look good in doing actual martial arts, but you never know. It's a split frame cut like second for editing. Then we're talking about getting low. Like say you want to do a Dragon Ball pose. And you want to do one of those crazy power up poses. Where they do the, the power all behind them. Or if you're in a comic. Say you get angry and do an explosion. You can lean back. But let's see if he can actually balance though. That's actually really cool. If he can balance. Can he balance? Hold on. Let's see if we can do it. You might have to rotate the feet all the way in. I want to see if it works. So you can't get the feet to sit flat, but you can technically do it that way. But as you can see here, this foot won't be flat. As far as extending for punches, let's see. Yeah, this is solid. Posing references, we have super posing. Let's, we have a lot of good things going for this figure that I've realized, like you can actually do diving poses or cannonballs, Vitruvian Man, Terminator stuff. This is on a level that is close to that of Revolve Tech with probably a smoother set of joints that won't allow too much breakage, but look at that. You can hit a cannonball, right? Parkour. This is really dope. Now,
without further ado though let's talk about the things that it comes with and accessories all right now we're going to talk about accessories so let's get to it first thing let's go over the things that aren't hands uh because i want to do those last for this one in particular so you will get a set of boots the boots are actually really soft up top that means you can probably get some ankle pivot in there and i actually want to try it out while we're here on the camera and see if it's easy oh it is easy to take out the foot unfortunately i took the peg out on the foot and that probably should have stayed on the body because if i look inside there is a peg hole there so that's usually why i do stuff off camera because i look crazy like that <laughs> i probably messed up immensely or oh i did this all wrong so here's the thing i did this all wrong and this is actually cool to see this done you actually get this nice set of legs to fit inside of the boots if i am to assume this correctly and i wish to do that right now so let's try it right right nope that is not the case here this is for you to fit into other stuff so i'm learning as i go so let's see how a boot would look on it if i had the peg in it yep it actually would have worked if i had the peg still in there but my peg got caught but it does look good with the boots here but i'm pretty sure there's something i could just heat up and take off but my man looks good in boots i i, I appreciate this uh the way this works <laughs> happy accidents happy accidents but Honestly, you will get a set of extra legs to put onto other items as you get different pegs there for these type of ones. You'll also get much shorter pegs in case they have super high boots, right? So you'll get these shorter pegs. And then, as I'm going to pop his foot back in and we're going to talk about it, you will get a slew of hands. And the reason why I want to save the hands for last is because I want to do a quick test with some posing. And that's like, you know, I like posing. Posing is like one of the most important things for me. I love being able to pose stuff up as you saw there i was able to just pop it back in with little to no problem right but i want to i want to have that transparency that i'm learning it too this is actually the joy of opening things on camera with you too that you actually get to learn along with the people so one set of the hands <clears throat> that we'll get is sort of like pinching hands which is pretty cool you'll get these set of pinching hands with the pinching hands you could probably hold small items cards and things like that even a set of tiny 112 scale chopsticks which i know uh figma's done a few times right you'll get these open action hands in case you want to get down to get down grabbing clawing attaching to things next up you will get trigger hands and the trigger hands can hold mezco and valiverse weapons as well as hasbro weapons so holding weapons is not the issue so in case you're wondering I left a Valiverse weapon out. And oh, if you haven't already, check out Gridiron Props. They're actually making a ton of 112 scale weapons, in case you haven't. They tag me in a lot of stuff, and I've ordered some things, but I just cannot get everything at once. And it's killing me because they make such nice stuff. I'll also link you in the description for those guys as well. So, as you can see, here we have some Valiverse weapons. There's a little bit of space here to wiggle out, but it does work, right? Same of Mezco weapons. Then we will get some salute slash uh, martial arts hands or karate choppers is what I call them. I do that because you have a throat punch somebody like, trust me, it's serious. <laughs> so we have these. Then you'll get some more opened uh, semi relaxed hands which can also be hold it like with a weapon, like a two-handed weapon, much like this gun here. You use it as a more relaxed hand or a cupping hand, not on this weapon in particular, but you know, I'm learning the terms. <laughs> and then you have your sword slash item holding hands. These are gonna be your last set of hands that you will get, right? And these are for stuff like when you wanna hold a sword and it is soft enough that you can just wiggle it through and it will hold the sword with no problem whatsoever. But let's say you want to hold like a three section staff, also no problem from the Mezco Iron Fist. Not an issue, holds it. So now that you have an idea of what can be held and what can be used, 
I hope you have a good time like planning that out because I'm gonna do some crazy wild photos <laughs> with this guy because of that. So yeah. Um. Oh, without further ado, let's jump to size comparison. I'm not gonna keep you guys dragged along. Let's get to. All right. Now we're going to jump into. No, we're not. Um. We're actually gonna test something real fast before we jump into size comparison. Just in case you didn't want those hands, I wanted to test and see about popping some Mezco hands on. And as you can see. We can actually use a Mezco Black Panther hand. And I just chose hands at random that I had lying around. Here we are with a Wolverine hand. And yeah, it pops on with no problem for either of those hands. And then I have one more. And it fits the Mezco Blade hand with no problem as well. So, it is very much compatible with Mezco hands. And as far as the heads go, not so much. Uh, I tried that off screen. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to test it for the hands just in case people do want to try something different. But I'm going to I'm going to go ape shit on uh, trying out the different hands. That one's going to be fun, right? So let's stand him up as straight as possible so we can test about size wise with some other stuff. The first thing I want to do is try him up against the V-Toys body. And as you can see, like I said, the V-Toys body is definitely more muscular and bigger. So it's going to be cool when I have these two battle as we do like the buff hero versus the the non-buff hero and then they team up later so that's gonna be fun <laughs> next up we have a valiverse rollout heavily armored one uh i really do love the rollout color scheme and it works very much with the armored layout here we are with a gi joe classified python patrol officer right so as you can see he's not that big of a guy but he does work in with six inch stuff so it'll work very well for domestic collectors so far. Here we are with a Marvel Legends Cyclops. Here we are with a Mythic Legions Baron Volagar 2. So as you can see, he fits definitely in the realm of like slim super heroics, but not with... Well, actually, he fits with Mythic Legions perfectly because normal humans should be a little smaller. Here we are with a Lightning Collection uh, Dino Charge Blue, a.k.a. Koryu Blue, right? And then we got my main man, 50 Grand, SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga, to show off that size-wise for you. So yeah, I personally enjoy this. This has been a great uh, pre-posing plastic party tool for me, as it allows me to stretch my uh, posing fingers and have a little bit of fun. So this has been right up my alley uh, for reinvigorating some, some real cool poses that I'm going to have some fun with. So I hope you guys enjoy the photos at the end. Uh, shout out to... Uh, Achilleon, shout out to Six Inch Plus, shout out to all the people who have been taking a chance with me with reviewing stuff because they believe in me and I, I appreciate that for real. Like um I was talking about with uh, KJ recently is that uh I don't think I would have gotten this far if people didn't take a chance and really like what I do. And I appreciate that because it's proof that you guys really do like what I do. So thank you for that. Um it's been a pleasure. So as always please be good, do good. Drink your water, guys. Later.